just that we're very proud of Jim. You know, he was a, a courageous, fearless journalist, uh, a very compassionate American. I mean, the best of America. And he always hoped that this would, he would come home. That was his hope. And um, he sustained all the others who were with him, really, with that hope. But before coming home, he wanted to support his fellow inmates. He was always the first guy in line, the uh, one who would take the bullet first, the one who would speak to the guards about inequities in food. He was, he was never a slacker. He was always the, the standard, the bearer, the, uh, the stand-up guy, you know, um, which was his passion. That's yeah. what he wanted to do for others. That's what he wanted to do for his fellow journalists. We also, we also appreciate the tremendous number of prayers that we've, we've oh, received so and Jimmy received right. throughout all of our communities. So so they, Jimmy had said in Libya, and we, we're very sure now that he could feel the prayers, and we think his strength came from God. Strength came from God. Well, we know God. it did. Um, as a matter of fact, we are the only American family that has never received a letter from Jim. Uh, they apparently were all confiscated. So the last hostage to come out, okay. um, please, just, yeah. um, Daniel, uh, she memorized a letter from Jim. Oh. Um, and within hours of his freedom, he was good enough to call and voice that letter to us. And it just spoke of his yearning to see all of us once again. Um, Jim was very close to the family, too. And um, his nieces and niece and nephews, you know, he was, um, but so he really expressed his love in that. Honey, I got it. it's just... please shut it off. So anyway, so we're very grateful for that. But we, as John said, so many people were praying for Jim. And I, I really think that's what gave Jim an unusual courage. Jim just could feel the prayers. He was strong, courageous, loving to the end. I mean, we, we just hardly recognize our little boy. I mean, he just... He was just a hero, and you know? You, and you know from the videos that his last words were, I wish I had more time to see my family. So Jim had a big heart, and um, just, I just, you know, we that's what we shared with, with President Obama. You know, we just pray that, that Jim's death can bring our We're country together in a stronger way and with the values that Jim hold dear. Held Jim, dear. Held dear. Sir, Jim would never want us to hate or be bitter, and and we cannot do Shut that. And so um, we are just um, very proud of Jimmy, and we are praying for the strength to love like he did. Um, and to stay courageous and to keep fighting for all the people that he was fighting for. And again, to pray for mercy for the um, uh, remaining American hostages.